An animated TV show aimed at preschool children in which animals in a museum come to life through magic. Surely there's nothing sinister about that, right? They'd never use that to expose literal toddlers to anything weirdly subversive, right? Wrong! Series 5 of Netflix's Ridley Jones features a plot centred around a cartoon bison who comes out as non-binary to they-them's grandmother. This can't wait any longer. My heart says that the way I feel most myself is to go by the name Fred. That's because I'm non-binary, and Fred's the name that fits me best. And I also use they and them, because calling me a she or a he doesn't feel right to me. Oh, I didn't know that. No wonder you've been struggling. Yeah, because I'm sure a three-year-old watching that awkward effort at social engineering will really be able to process it properly. Another creepy example of identity politics obsessed weirdos trying to indoctrinate kids. They rewrite Roald Dahl books because they contain the word fat, yet this is perfectly reasonable. The creator of the show is a lesbian mom who looks like this. Wow, didn't see that one coming. In a tweet, she heralded the first preschool show that has a non-binary character coming out, but lamented how the show was cancelled anyway. Let's take a gander at that IMDB score. Yeah. No surprise it got canned then. When the show first launched in 2021, creator Chris Nee said, I am here to change the world or retire trying. I know what it is to be othered. My job is to show the world as I want it to be. Right, so you created it as a vehicle to brainwash children with LGBT messaging. Appreciate the honesty there, Chris. What makes this story even bizarre is the fact that media outlets like the Daily Mail covering the reaction to it still go to great lengths to respect the pronouns of cartoon livestock. In season two, episode two, Bison Ball, their friend offers to help dress them in a ball gown and fancy hairdo for the ball. But Fred insists on a suit makes them feel more like themselves. This is the kind of weaponized nonsense they slip into children's programming if you allow your kids to be raised by screens. You're really better off just avoiding entirely exposing your kids to any content made after 2015 at the latest. That's roughly the point at which the world went mad. But if you want to ensure your loved ones are shielded from all that madness and confusion, please curate what they consume very carefully. Get early access to videos, exclusive live streams, and personally DM me. You've seen how much I get demonetized all the time. Well, this is how you support me. By subscribing at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Please click the link in the description.